Check this out, bro. And I had to go through the plug. I want mine today. I don't want to get a ship. Plus tax and shipping. We're gonna go pick up the cherries. Pick up the cherries. Pick up the cherries. Pick up the cherries. Can I wait? And the connect just called Cherry. 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 He gave me the directions on where the fuck to meet him, and that's where the fuck I'm going. We going sizzler. We going sizzler. You don't know that reference. You don't know. Hey. 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 I know. I know. I could have scored them online. Right? Didn't even sell out. No, no, no. no. Size sold out. What? Man. Don't you love the hunt? Uh, uh. Going and getting them? Don't see them on the day that they drop? I had no idea that I had actually caught them. Uh, uh. I would have had to get them online. <laughs> Pino E said it was a super, super huge GR, but at the rally, there's about 80 pairs, three malls, 5,000 sneakerheads. The chances of getting a pair are slim for a lot of us in our in the small cities. It's fun, man. The Jordans, they didn't sell out. I don't know if it's a bad thing, man. It's not a bad thing. Doesn't it suck when you try to get your fucking NMDs and they sell out? Or your fucking Ultra Boost and they sell out? It's awesome that we can get these cherries and threes and in every Jordan. You go to a mall now, there's a selection of Jordans. People that aren't super sneakerheads can go to the mall and say, oh shit, I, I want to get into the retro game. They're getting new clients, man. All the freaks that are into shoes went to NMDs. So they need to flood the market, have a shitload of Jordans out, and that way, little kids that are growing up right now will be like us when we were growing up. All oh, those Jordans that I saw at the mall that I could never get. Yeah, that way when they grow up, there's a retro market. Man, whoever talks shit about Jordan doesn't know shit. Jordan needs to keep flooding the market with as many J's. Let them sit, let them sit, let them sit. They're there for people to pick and choose which one they like. Peace. Let me just show you, this shit ain't no fucking joke. This shit ain't no fucking joke, man. Where did I come? I came to the hood, my dog. Look at the hood, look. Houses open, bro, open. Now lucky I don't get fucking shot. Look at this shit, the hood. The fucking hood. Check it, look. Brick. 
<laughs> fucking junkyard, bro. <laughs> How's it going to the back? <laughs> Hop's passing by. Hop's passing. I'm gonna let him go. Turn his ass around. The police station and shit right here, also. Next to the hood. Next to the hood. Look at all the hood. He's gonna steal my chariot. Let's go. Let's ride. Let me ride. Another motherfucking day for some black fists. It's just a gangster glare with gangster rap. The gangster shit. That word to the motherfucking streets. And word to these hype ass lyrics and don't beat that I. These fools keep grinning and I'm rolling in my sixth row. Let me get in a lit area. Alright, so looking out for the Jack Boys. The Jack Boys. <laughs> Hey, the leather looks good. What the fuck? The leather looks good. It feels softer than a motherfucker. I don't know what you were talking about. We're talking about this part right here. This part. That part. It's real hard and shit. But if you push down, I mean, it's spidery. Spidery. Man, this part fucking badass. At a review later on, let me get to the crib. Time to put gas mode. And I'll do a full review. Maybe tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do the Black Cat 13, the one I was talking shit about so much. I'll give you some more information later. Peace! Oh shit! What up, mains? Mr. Nuno here. We got the motherfucking cherries on deck. We got the cherry 13s. Um, we went ahead and hooked it up yesterday with the cherry 13. Well, I'll probably show the video where I had to go into the hood just to pick them up from the connect. Really didn't even need a connect for these. I know they can't be sitting here in the real Grand Valley. By the way, it's a great day out here in the real Grand Valley. Check out the Cherry 13. Wow, man. Let's show the thing. The price tag was torn off some for some reason. I go overlook these bitches and I want to make sure they weren't fake. It's recorded. Got the cherry 13s on the deck. Get them up. 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 Oh, here we are. Oh, the cherries. The cherries. cherries baby so these cherries man pretty much uh jordan wore these 97 98 season won his last championship or his sixth championship the second three piece they came out with a shitload of colorways for this for this shoe the 13 i think it was about 12 of them some in a low version these are pretty iconic. The game where he played his final game in Madison Square Garden. He wore his retro ones as a tribute to the fans at the garden. And as a backup, he had these Cherry 13 sitting there in case his feet would start barking. Because uh, 
he was wearing his 1985 retro or his 1985 ones which were a size 13 and he was already wearing a size 13 and a half or something like that something to that effect so he had these as a backup to make sure that he'd be comfortable the whole game the 2017 version i mean the the leather here is awesome awesome leather here not so much you're gonna wear this it's gonna crease like a mother they're meant to be worn I don't know when I'm gonna bust them out and wear them, but they're gonna stay nice and fresh. His <laughs> championship on the second three peak in 1997 98 season, they went 69 and 13, uh, as opposed to the 72 10 season the year before. They went 69 and 13, they went to the playoffs. He wore these in the playoffs, one of the games. I think game five, the finals, and that's when he switched to the 14. Hence the last shot, the black and red 14. Oh yeah, if I haven't confused you yet, motherfucker wore these shoes before the 14s in the finals, which were called the last shots. These are the Chicago colorway, the cherry colorway, whatever you want to call them, they're bad bad to the motherfucking bone of a panther or a black cat because uh, Jordan was so sneaky he was uh, actually a defensive guy as well carbon FIBA under here dots when you get it like in the right light you can see the little dots this re represents the panther's paw this represents the whiskers this is the eye of the tiger the black cat watching your ass. Defensive player of the year awards. Defense wins championship. These are the cherries. Cherry 13s, baby. Alright, man. So just showing you this. The black cat 13 as well. Shout out to Triple O G. Available to you, and you get to actually go to the mall, try them on, look at them on feet, and maybe even wait, wait a couple months or a couple weeks till they go on sale. Maybe go to the outlet. Imagine a Cherry 13 OG colorway at the outlet. A couple years back, unheard of. You wouldn't even have. I mean, I might not even have gotten a pair because I'm just a regular dude. All the YouTubers would have been reviewing the shit out of this like like how the uh, all-star ones are limited right now it would have been like that for these and uh, the reason these are sitting is because there, there was about eight nine ten drops Friday Saturday and Sunday actually there was a, a lot for a lot of different brands Mainly Nike, Jordan, and but yeah there was a lot of Cause this shoe. The stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension of sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. As far as for me, my sneakerhead life is about re, uh, recapturing my childhood and my teenage years. I'm gonna keep doing it. Eventually I'll get all my grails and my sneaker goal again is to get a badass pair of one through 14. All the shoes that I had back in the day, I'm, I'm definitely gonna recapture. Mr. Nuno, I'm out.